New at noon, eight days of hope announced it will do a huge project to bring hope to the folks of Amory, whose lives changed after a tornado swept through last year. And joining us live is Steve Tiber, the founder of Eight Days of Hope. Steve, as always, it is so great to have you here in the studio. You've just been busy with the Buffalo <sighs> snow. The last 72 hours, I've been in seven feet of snow in Buffalo. Yesterday, walking through Amory, seeing the tornado damage from 10 months ago. And then today, I feel like I need to build an ark. So I've seen a lot in the last 72 hours, that's for sure. All right, so tell us about the 20th Rebuilding Project. You know, 8 Days Hope, we've been around since 2005. And even though we've responded to about 70 different disasters around the country, we've had major rebuilding trips. And today, we announced in Amory, Mississippi, that we will be bringing in thousands of volunteers to Amory to help 100 families rebuild their homes in just eight days, March 9th to March 16th. Um, we're family friendly. We need skilled volunteers, less skilled volunteers. It's going to be amazing volunteers already in the last two hours. We have volunteers already from 19 states coming to Amory, wow, Mississippi. Wow, that is absolutely awesome to hear. Now, we're going to show some video, drone video, that was actually shot by our chief videographer, mm. Alvin Ivey. This was last year. When, when, when you see the devastation there on the ground, how critical and important is it for you to rebuild that hope? You know, it's humbling for us uh, to do what we do. You know, we're mainly a volunteer organization. 53,000 volunteers have now served with us. Many of them will be coming to Amory. You know, Miss Lee is in our promotional video. She's a widow. We'll um, uh, uh, send that out on Friday morning. And I spoke to her yesterday. She has no one to help her, and she doesn't have the means to take care of herself. And she's living in, 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 in a place that she wants to live at home. And so our goal is to help as many as people as possible. We're planning to do 25 roofs, 25 families will get brand new windows. We're gonna install siding, do flooring, carpentry, and we really need the local community to show up. Remember, we were in Smithville in 2011, mm -hmm. and in Tupelo in 2014, what a perfect time now for Tupelo and other communities in Northeast Mississippi say, you know what, you had our back back then, now we got your back now. So we're excited to lead that charge. Now, when it comes to volunteers, how many volunteers are you looking for? Particularly when it comes to folks like me, yeah. I have, I am unskilled. Well, that's where you and I have a lot in common. We're okay. less skilled, not non-skilled. <laughs> okay. um, you know, we're hoping for 12 to 1500 people. Mm -hmm. and, and we just, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's free, we provide food and lodging. On Thursday, during the outreach, we're having a benefit concert right here at the Cadence Bank Arena. Three Christian bands, We Are Messengers, Ben Fuller and Jonathan Trailer, are coming in to do a concert. And we're not charging people. We're just going to take a love offering to help out those precious families in Amory. All right, and thank you so much there, thank Steve, you. for joining us as always. Still to come on WTV at 9 News at noon, there's a new